Hi everyone, Jason here with another Tinkercad tutorial video. And in this one, we're looking at how to create custom shapes using the Scribble tool. And this project was actually featured from my book, Taking Tinkercad to the Next Level, where you can learn advanced design features and strategies for working with Tinkercad to bring your own custom 3D creations to life with Tinkercad and 3D printing. Now, the Scribble tool is an interesting shape because when you drag it out, you get the opportunity to draw your own custom shape using something that's very much like a paintbrush. And now what I'm doing right now is drawing a little star and I'm doing that using the draw tool. There's also another way to draw your shapes using the draw shape tool, which is a little interesting to use. And you'll notice that as I create the same star, this little dotted line is following me around and it's filling the shape. So draw shape allows you to draw a filled in shape Draw allows you to draw more of like a line. And this is just one way to create and draw custom shapes. I find that using the draw shape tool is the better way to start and then go back and fill in your shapes with the draw tool if you need to, if you need to make any minor changes, like for example, fixing a piece of a drawn shape. You'll notice that you get a preview of what your shapes will look like in 3D. And of course, there's a clear tool and an eraser tool and an erase shape tool, which works a lot like the draw shape tool. Now, in this video, what we're going to look at is how could you actually create something that is a really intricate design using the scribble tool? Sometimes I see some really kind of rough drawn shapes, which isn't really an ideal way to create for 3D printing. But I like to use the scribble tool to create organic shapes. So, for example, I'm going to create a slightly curvy shape using the draw shape tool, something that looks sort of like this. And actually, I think I'll go in and just clean this up a little bit, get rid of my little cut, something like that. Perfect. So after creating that, we can go back to our 3D editor. And if you ever want to edit your scribble, you can always click the edit scribble button in your scribble shape parameters. I'm going to make this a little bit taller and rotate this 90 degrees. All right. And then I'm going to manipulate this by cutting into it using a roof shape. So I'm going to drag the roof shape out, turn it into a hole, rotate it 90 degrees, and then place this roof shape along the edge of my scribble shape, kind of across the edge. So I'm going to sort of pattern this roof shape a little, a little randomly. Like I said, I'm going to kind of make an organic like shape, something that you can sort of find in nature, which is where I think the scribble tool does best when designing and creating in Tinkercad. So I have a bunch of roof shapes here. I'm just copying and pasting them and I'm going to bring them to the other side to give me a zigzaggy like cut along the outer edge of my scribble shape like that. All right. So let me select all my shapes and group them. Cool. Perfect. Now, this might not look like much at first. Cool little zigzag like shape that has some 3D curvature to it. But what happens if I make it green and make a copy of it using the duplicate and repeat tool first? And then we can rotate this by 45 degrees and sort of overlap the shape like so. And then use the duplicate and repeat tool a few more times. Now, our curvy scribble looks just like the top of a palm tree. So I'm going to select all of our little palm tree leaves and group them together. And I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. And then we can hide these shapes just to put them out of the way temporarily. Then let's bring a paraboloid shape into our design. And then let's manipulate this paraboloid shape by using the duplicate repute tool again. So I'm going to duplicate the shape, lift it up a little bit, scale it down a little bit, and rotate it just a little bit. And if we duplicate this a few more times, now we have something that looks like the trunk of a palm tree. So if I group these shapes and change the color to be brown, we can then unhide the top of our palm tree shape here and bring this up and move it on top of our tree, something like so. Maybe angle it just a little bit more. There we go. And I think we can also bring in some sphere shapes and scale them down 
and make them a different shade of brown and maybe use the cruise tool to bring them up and snap them inside our tree for some coconuts. So there we go. So the scribble tool is definitely one of the more random ways to draw shapes. I actually find that if you want to draw custom shapes a little bit more smooth and accurately, uh, inside the shape generators, as discussed in my book, we look at the extrusion tool. And this shape allows you to again draw, but unlike the scribble tool, you can draw with more of like a bezier curve, kind of like a pen tool. And this is a little bit more of a, an accurate way to draw custom shapes until Tinkercad decides to add a vector drawing feature. Also in the shape generator, as discussed in my book, there are other shapes that allow you to manipulate your design, such as the surface shape. And this shape allows you to create 3D designs using an equation, which is a pretty cool way to model in Tinkercad. But in this project specifically allows us to add some curvy sand to our palm tree design. Thanks for watching. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe and find more tutorials and guides on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out this book if you want to learn more about advanced Tinkercad modeling skills and 3D printing.